Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a, a specific type of a measure of position called a quartile. And a quartile basically just breaks your data into four equal parts. Um, it's also known as a quarter. You could um, break it into four equal quarters. Um, but a quartile, it's denoted as Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. A lot of times you'll see Q2 written as the median and Q4 written as the max or the maximum. Um, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, the quartiles are used in um, constructing box plots. So if you have to um, construct a box plot, you do have to find the Q1, Q2, and Q3. Um, You would also need to know the min and the max to construct a box plot. Make sure that you check out my videos that I have on constructing box plots. Um, for this one, we're just going to talk about how we would find the quartile of this given data set. We have 13 points. Um, so we would start by breaking it in half. Basically, we would want to find Q2 first, which is just the median. Um, since we have 13 points, we would find the very middle point. So basically I would count off one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh point would be the middle point. Um, notice I have one, two, three, four, five, six points above that as well. So this would be our Q2 or our median. After you found Q2, basically what you're going to do is you're gonna find the median of the lower half. So this would be our lower half. And this would be our upper half. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to use that lower half and the upper half, and that will give us our Q1 and our Q3. Our Q1 is going to be the median of the lower half. And our Q3 is going to be the median of the upper half. So for this one, because we have an even number of values, remember anytime you have an even number, um, the median would fall in between these two. So I would have to find the average of three and four. So Q1 um, would be three, plus four divided by two, which is 3.5. So this would be our Q1, our quartile one. Um, Q3, like I said, is going to be the median of the upper half. So because again, we have six points, we would find the average of these two. So our Q3 would be the average of eight and nine, which is 8.5. And then our Q4 would just be our maximum. So our maximum point, this value right here, would be our Q4 or our max. Like I said, you will use this in constructing a box plot. Um, just to show you what we would do if we had an even number to start with, let's say that we had an even number. So let's say that our data set is three, four, five, um, seven, um, let me just, three, four, five, seven, nine, 10, 11, and 13. Um, so let's say that we were looking for this. What we would do is we would first find Q2. So Q2 would be in between, that would be our median. So we would cut our data in half. So Q2 would be the median of seven and nine. So we would do seven plus nine divided by two, um, which is eight. So that's our average of Q2. This is also known as the median. Because of the fact that we split it directly in half, this would be our lower half. So we would use all four of these values as our lower half. So we would include the seven. So our Q1, would be the average of four and five, which would be 4.5. And our Q3 would be 
the um, average or the median of this part, so we would have to find the average of 10 and 11. So Q3 would be 10 plus 11 divided by 2 or 10.5. And then Q4, remember, is always the easiest one to find because that is just your max. So our Q4 or our max is going to be 13. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, the quartiles just break your data into four equal parts. You can use technology um, to find these, if you watch my constructing box plot videos for the TI Inspire and the TI-84, I do show you how to find the quartiles using that technology.